The day is the sixth day of the blessed month of Halloween. May God begin in goodness and renew for us in peace and tranquility. All our sins and iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of O oh, our Lord, O oh, my Father and brother, and I mean. On this day of the year 55 of the Martyrs, 339 A.D., Saint Theodore the monk was martyred. <clears throat> he was born in the city of Alexandria to Christian parents who raised him in a true Christian upbringing. When he grew up, he longed for the monastic life, so he went and became a monk in one of the monasteries nearby the city of Alexandria. He became well known for his pure life and austere aestheticism. When con Constantinus, the son of the Emperor Constantine, followed the Arian TA exile St. Anastasius, Pope of Alexandria. He sent <coughs> in his place Gawargios, uh, the Arian, <coughs> appointed him patriarch and governor for Alexandria. He slew a large number of believers in the city. St. Theodore with the Christian zeal disputed with the Arians and exposed the error of their face. Fate. The alien patriarch seized him, tortured him much, then ordered him tied to an unbridled horse. The horse was released to him to drag him in the streets of Alexandria. St. Theodore's body was thrown to pieces and his head was smashed. He had delivered up his soul into the hand of the Lord and received the crown of martyrdom. The believers collected the whole his holy numbers and lay them in a coffin. The blessing of prayers be of the holy man. On this day also of the year 19 of the Martyrs, <clears throat> 303 AD, four notables are, uh, and Eskna were martyred. They were merciful to the poor and needy and charitable to the windows, widows and orphans. <clears throat> when Arius the governor went back to Esna for the second time, he met these four archons whose names were Asphanos, Samon, Harag, and Bakush. They were from the prominent people of Esna and overseer of its affairs. While they were going over the account of their work with their nest, none of them mentioned the name of Christ. They stood over before the governor confessing their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ without heeding to his threats of torture. Arius became enraged and ordered And uh, Arius became enraged and ordered to savagely torture them. Their faith was not shaken by the repeating what St. Paul said, For I consider that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be received in us. Finally, when he saw their endurance, he ordered to behead them and thus receive the crowns of martyrdom. The blessing of the prayers be with the Solomon. On this day, also of the year 398 A.D., Saint Didymus the Blind departed. He was the dean of the Theological School of Alexandria. He was born in the city of Alexandria in the year 313 A.D. His parents called him Didymus, which is Greek word for Thomas. When he was four years old, he was inflicted with a sickness in his eyes, which led to his blindness. He did not learn reading in a school because of his poverty and blindness. However, however, his great love for knowledge allowed him to overcome all the obstacles before him. He learned the alphabet by touching carved wooden letters 15th century before the braille system that is used by the blind today. Using this method, he learned 
<clears throat> language and grammar, rhetoric, philosophy, logic, theology, arithmetic, and music, and he excelled in them. He was able to debate those who studied these subjects in the usual textbooks. He became an example of excellence, and the fame of his knowledge became well known everywhere. Pope Anastasius entrusted him entrusted him in the management of the Theological School of Alexandria in the year 346 AD. The school during his days flourished and became equal to the great theological and secular schools in the East and West. He counted among his pupils some of the great learned men such as Pallidus, Ruffinus, and Jerome. Jerome said about him that he bore the characteristics of an apostolic person and enlightened thoughts and simple words. Raphinus called him a prophet and apostolic man. Sosa, the historian, tells us that the influence of Didymus in convincing people of the validity of the teachings of the Council of Nicaea <coughs> against the Arians was incomparable. The people considered Didymus as a fortified fortress and strong support for the Christian religion. He was considered a strong opponent and of the followers of Arius and Vanquish, and them the, in the all debates with him. He was a pious ascetic. He prayed for the sake for the Christians who were persecuted by Julian the infidel. He saw in a vision that Julian was killed and warned was fulfilled in the exact day and hour. Alba Antonius visited him in his cell. They prayed together and sat down talking about the Holy Scriptures. When he saw his sorrowful for the loss of vision, the father and all the monks told him, How can he be sorrowful for losing something shared with the least of animals and not rejoicing? God has given you spiritual vision, which he does not grant except to those he loves. He gave you the eyes of the angels. You can see with them the spiritual thing. Moreover, you could perceive them the mysteries of God himself. Didymus was greatly comforted by these words. St. Didymus wrote many inspired books in theology, dogma, and exegesis about the, of both testaments of the Holy Scriptures to the point that they called him the seeing blind. After he completed his good endeavor, he departed in peace on the school three, on, in the year 398 A.D. He was 85 years old, and in which he spent 52 years of them as a dean of the Theological School of Alexandria. He was contemporary of four patriarchs, Pope Ignatius of the Apostolic, Pope Peter II, Pope Dimity I, and Pope Theophilus. Theophilus. When Abu Shinoda, Bishop of Education, Pope Shinoda III, he inherited the Institute of the Church Cantors, was from only blind. He called Saint Didymus Institute to honor this great theologian. The sing of his prayers of this aesthetic and brilliant theologian, Saint Didymus the Blind, be with us all and glory be to God forever. Amen.